to go through the vocabulary of the things I just said. Okay, I said, hey mina-san, hey mina-san, mina means everybody, san is the like Mr. Hey, Mr. Everybody, hey mina-san, I'm Victor. Um, when you punch yourself, that's, you punch your nose, not here, that's the way Japanese do it. Um, never put san on your own name, you never introduce yourself as san, I'm not Victor-san, I'm just Victor. You are, you know, John-san or whatever. Okay, hi mina-san, give me a break, man. Yes, okay? Give me a break, manu desu. Notice that all the uh, consonants will end in vowels, actually. This is basically, in this case, would be I am. Uh, this is a little bit tricky. Uh, anyway, watch older videos. <laughs> ima wa, now. Ima means now. Wa is the particle pointing to now. Ima wa, now, at this moment. Shawa, shawa is shower. Shawa, shawa. Ima wa shawa o abiteimasu. I'm taking a shower now. Abiteimasu. I'm taking a shower now. Now, I've decided not to put subtitles um, here on this part of the video. I'm putting them, but they are everything that was in the pre in the previous half of this video is over there. So check that out. Anyway, hey, mina san, give me a break, man. This ima wa shawa o abiteimasu. Abiteimasu, okay. Nago, Nagoya wa atsui kara mainichi nikkai kurai shawa o abimasu. Nagoya, Nagoya, where I live, the city. Nagoya wa, wa points this topic. Nagoya wa. Many people ask me why do you uh, spell wa with an H. It's just the way some people choose. It's actually pronounced wa, W A sound. But um, when you're writing it in, you know, English alphabet, we use it the H A. Anyway, atsui, hot. Nagoya wa atsui. Hot. Atsui, atsui, atsui. atsui. What, what am I doing this? That's cold. Atsui, atsui. Atsui kara. Atsui kara. Kara means because. Kara. Kara means because. In Spanish, kara means ka uh, face. <laughs> but who cares? Okay. Nagoya wa atsui kara. Mainichi. Every day. Mainichi. Mainichi. Mai means every. Day means. Uh, nichi means day. Mai means every, nichi means day, mai nichi, every day. Mai nichi, nikkai, nikkai, two times, nikkai, gurai, about, gurai, about, gurai, about, nikkai, ni, two, kai, times, nikkai, gurai, two, about two times, shawa wo abimasu, I take a shower. Shower is taken, actually, uh, literal translation, shawa wo abimasu, remember the verb goes at the end, the subject goes first. Shawa o abimasu. Nikkai gurai shawa o abiru. Now the verb is abiru, which is shower. Abimasu is the more, um, it's the slightly more formal uh, conjugation of that, or tense. Mina san wa mainichi nankai shawa o abimasu ka? Mina san, you guys, everybody, Mr. Everybody, wa, right? Subject marker. Mainichi, every day, shawa, shower, o O is used as between the object and the verb. O tells you that the next verb is going to go back and act on the previous noun, right? Shawa o abimasu. I take a shower. Or take a shower, actually, no, either. Mina san wa mainichi nankai shawa o abimasu ka? 
I'll be mas Remember, adding cat to the end of a of a um, of a verb turns it into a question in the polite form. You can also make a question by just adding no. Okay, go back to the beginning of the video and read the uh, pause and read the um, comments, uh, and uh, you'll you'll figure it out. Anyway, I'll read the subtitles. Mina san wa mainichi nankai gurai shawa o abiru no abiru no no at the end of a verb makes it a question. Remember when you're making a question, in this case we're talking about showering, right? So the, the verb is abiru, uh, the tense, the uh, polite tense is abimasu. When you're making a question, just add ka, abimasu ka. That's the more formal. And the more casual is no ending, abiru no. You can also just add nothing, just abiru. You can also add abiru kai, which is a little more uh, you know, rough, anyway. Nan kai gurai, gurai remember means about. Nan kai gurai, nan what? Kai times. Nankai together means how many times? Nan or nani is what? Nan or nani is what? Kai means times. Nankai, how many times? Gurai, about. Abiru no. Nankai gurai abiru no. How many times showering? Nankai gurai abimasu ka? How many times showering? A little bit more formal. As you can tell, the word abiru means shower. Okay, that's basically it. I hope this was useful for you. Um, I actually do have more organized lessons coming, but I thought I would try something. Um, sorry, this is the idea, okay? When you're learning in another in a country, um, you learn naturally, meaning you learn by what you're experiencing every day. So what I thought I'd do, try to do is stick out videos once in a while that uh, basically deal with what I'm doing every day, okay? Check the uh, sidebar for notes I am I will upload this with all the notes uh, ready to go. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you, to you guys later. Matane, which means matane until later. See you later.